In the heart of the densest, darkest woods, where the trees whispered secrets and the wind carried echoes of the forgotten stories, there stood an abandoned library. It was a place that legend spoke of only in hushed tones, for those who had ventured too close had never returned. But for those daring enough to seek its mysteries, there were ten rules that must be followed. 1. The Approach As you enter the forest, follow the path of crumbling stones that leads you deeper into the woods. Do not stray from the path, for the forest is known to twist and turn, leading wanderers astray. 2. The Lantern Carry a lantern with you, for the library lies shrouded in perpetual darkness. The light of the lantern will guide your way, but beware, for it attracts the attention of the unseen. 3. Silence. Speak not a word from the moment you enter the forest. The library is sensitive to sound, and your voice may awaken the spirits that dwell within. 4. The Keeper's Key. Search for the Keeper's Key, hidden beneath a moss-covered stone near the library's entrance. It will unlock the heavy wooden doors, granting you access to the forbidden knowledge within. 5. Read with caution. Once inside, choose your books wisely. The library holds tomes of great power and knowledge, but some are cursed. Read with caution, for the wrong words may bind you to the library forever. 6. The Whispers As you peruse the shelves, you may hear faint whispers beckoning you to listen. Ignore them, for they are the voices of those who scum to the library's allure and were lost to its depths. 7. The Phantom Librarian Beware of the Phantom Librarian, a specter that guards the library's most treasured volumes. If you encounter it, do not make eye contact and leave the book you hold as an offering. It may grant you safe passage. 8. The Midnight Bell Time holds no sway within the library's walls, but you must leave before the midnight bell tolls. If you remain past that hour, you risk becoming a permanent resident of the library, forever a part of its collection. 9. The Exit To leave, return the book you borrow to its rightful place on the shelf. The Keeper's Key will allow you to exit, but do not look back, for the library may attempt to draw you back into its depths. 10. The Oath of Silence Upon your return to the outside world, you must swear an oath of silence regarding the library's location and secrets. To speak of it is to invite the malevolent presence into your life. One misty evening, a young adventurer named Eliza embarked on a journey into the forest, driven by the insatiable curiosity for the Forbidden Library. She followed the rules diligently, carrying her lantern and heeding the warnings. As she entered the library's grand hall, the weight of the countless untold stories pressed upon her. Eliza's fingers brushed against the spine of the ancient books, each one whispering a tantalizing promise of knowledge. She chose a tome bound in cracked leather and began to read. The pages revealed secrets beyond her wildest imagination, but she sensed a sinister undercurrent. As the midnight hour drew near, Eliza felt a presence behind her. She dared not to turn, but a cold breath grazed her neck. The phantom librarian stood there, a spectral figure in tattered robes. Eliza left her book as an offering and retreated to the entrance. Just as she reached the threshold, the midnight bell tolled, its mournful sound echoing through the library. Eliza fled into the night, gasping for breath. She had barely escaped the clutches of the library's enchantment. Eliza emerged from the woods, her heart pounding with both dread and exhilaration. She had glimpsed the forbidden knowledge within the library's walls, but she knew she could never return. She took the solemn oath of silence, sealing her fate and ensuring the library's secrets remained hidden. The abandoned library in the heart of the forest continued to lure those with a thirst of the unknown. It stood as a testament to the power of curiosity and a chilling reminder that some knowledge is best left untouched, hidden away in the depths of the haunted woods. Years passed, and the legends of the abandoned library persisted in hushed conversations among the curious and the brave. Eliza had returned to her ordinary life, but the memory of that eerie night haunted her dreams. She had glimpsed the tantalizing power and darkness that lay hidden within those pages, and she couldn't shake the feeling that the library still called to her, like a siren song. 
One evening, a knock echoed at Eliza's door. She opened it to find a weary traveler, a scholar by the name of Professor Adler. He had journeyed from a distant land, driven by the rumors of the enigmatic library. His eyes shone with a fever that Eliza recognized all too well. I've heard whispers of the library, he said, his voice trembling with anticipation. A place where untold knowledge rests. Will you share what you know? Eliza hesitated, but saw a reflection of her former self in the professor's eyes. She nodded, and together they ventured into the forest, the lantern's glow once again guiding their path. Eliza explained the ten rules, and the phantom librarian, and the oath of silence as they approached the library. As they stepped inside, Professor Adler's gaze swept over the ancient tomes with a mixture of awe and trepidation. He chose a book bound in a faded blue leather and began to read, his eyes widening with each passing page. Eliza watched him, a mixture of concern and nostalgia washed over her. Hours passed, and the professor was lost in the words. Eliza explored the library once more, feeling the familiar whisper in the air. She knew that Professor Adler was trending on a dangerous path, but she also understood the irresistible allure of forbidden knowledge. As midnight loomed on the horizon, Eliza's sense of impending doom grew. She watched as Professor Adler, engrossed in the book he held, continued to read with unrelenting fever. Desperation gnawed at her, knowing that the library's malevolent forces were stirring. With trembling hands, Eliza reached out to touch the professor's shoulder. Professor Adler, she whispered urgently, we must leave now, the library is waking. But the professor seemed deaf to her pleas. He muttered incantations from the book, his eyes reflecting the dark knowledge he had uncovered. It was as if he had become a vessel for the library's secrets. Eliza's lantern flickered, casting eerie shadows that danced upon the walls. In her growing panic, she realized that her own voice had betrayed her. She had broken the rule of silence, and the library had heard. The phantom librarian, more ominous than ever, materialized with a shroud of darkness swirling around it. Its hollow eyes fixed upon Professor Adler, who now held the forbidden knowledge within him. Eliza's heart pounded as the phantom extended a shadowy hand towards the professor. No! Eliza screamed, her voice echoing through the library, but it was too late. The phantom librarian's spectral fingers pierced the professor's chest, extracting the knowledge he had learned. The professor's eyes rolled back, and his life force was drained, leaving behind only a hollow shell. Eliza watched in horror as the knowledge transferred from the professor to the phantom, transforming it into an entity of malevolent power. The library itself seemed to pulse with dark energy. With an unnatural strength, the phantom librarian turned its attention to Eliza. Her breath caught as it gaze bore into her soul. She tried to move, but her feet felt rooted to the floor. The lantern fell from her grasp, its light extinguished, leaving her in total darkness. A sinister voice filled her mind, echoing with the library's secrets. It promised her the knowledge she so desperately craved, an offer to share with its terrible power. But in exchange, it demanded her very essence, her soul. Torn between a lure of forbidden knowledge and the fear of losing herself to the darkness, Eliza hesitated. She glimpsed the abyss of secrets within the library's depths, the forbidden grimoire, and the countless souls lost to its allure. As the seconds ticked away, Eliza made her choice. With all the strength she could muster, she whispered the words of the Oath of Silence, sealing the library's secrets within herself. The phantom let out an agonizing wail, recoiling from her. Suddenly, a brilliant light burst forth from the lantern, banishing the darkness in the malevolent presence. Eliza felt herself being pulled away from the library's clutches, propelled towards the exit. She stumbled out into the moonlit forest, grasping for breath. The library's presence faded behind her, but she knew that the knowledge she had absorbed was now part of her. It was a burden she would carry for the rest of her life, a constant reminder of the chilling tale of the library in the woods. Eliza returned to her ordinary life, haunted by the secret she had gained and the souls lost to the library's darkness. She became a guardian of sorts, warning those who ventured too close and sharing her own harrowing experience as a cautionary tale. The abandoned library remained a forbidden enigma, forever concealed in the heart of the forest. 
Its allure and danger persisted, a chilling reminder that some knowledge comes at a price too steep to bear, and that the darkness within the library would forever hunger for new souls to claim. Thank you for listening to Rules to Follow to Find the Forbidden Library. If you enjoyed this story, please leave a like. And if you enjoy hearing stories from me, please subscribe and become a resident of Hill Street and let me know how I'm doing in the comments. And I hope all of you have a fantastic night.